Hey everyone, and welcome into the Chicago Chauffeur here on Stadium alongside Jake Butt. I'm Sam Brief. So Jake, it's your first time in the Chicago Chauffeur. How are we feeling? I feel honored to be a part of this kickoff for the event. And by the way, before we get going, we saw each other at the Bulls game last night. And I found out big news. You were recognized by the TV crew, right? You got a little TV oh, yeah, time, a little fun. FaceTime, man. I congratulations. I was to the camera for like 12 minutes. It's okay, that's, that's all right. That's all right. That's good recognition, man. So, congratulations. <laughs> the only bad news is the Bulls lost to the Pistons. It was an ugly game. It was an ugly game for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is not going to be ugly. This is going to be pretty. And on the note of pretty, if you need any gum, any mints, I got to be like hospitable. I'm good, man. Thank you very much for offering, though. Let's, all right, let's, let's go. do this thing. You buckled up? I'm good to go. All let's right. do this. Safety first. This is Jake Butts, inaugural trip here in the Chicago Chauffeur. So Jake Butt, tell me this, what is the greatest invention in human history? If you know me, there's only one answer for this and it's the air conditioner because I, I run hot and that's probably an understatement. I will not sleep if my house is above 68 degrees. And to be honest with you, I prefer it closer to 65, 63. So, uh, that that is the number one most important invention that I use every single day in my life. It's 35 degrees and sunny and I'm wearing like two base layers. I could never live with you. Yeah, I know no. you haven't asked me, but I could never do it. <laughs> I also got this thing. Uh, I got like an ice pack. It's called Eight Sleep. I sleep on it and it pumps cold water underneath me too. So I'm all about the uh, the chilly temps, man. Oh my goodness. Folks, if, if you don't know, Jake Butt is literally, like I think statistically speaking, the sweatiest player in the history of the NFL. Per Gatorade, they did the test for all of us in the NFL. So Gatorade knows something about sweat tests and uh, keeping you hydrated. They said it was the sweatiest they'd ever tested. I want to dive into some college football hot topics with you. Starting with the news that is objectively great news that EA is bringing back the NCAA video game. They're paying players $600 a pop to be in the game. Is that enough? Depends. For 99% of players, it is enough. And this is the this is the age-old debate, and and the rift is, you know, for the top players, the guys that are in the Heisman contention that have already produced, they'd probably like to get a little bit more. But all this comes down to is leverage. And I'd say for me, as a guy, I'm a big fan of the game. I will buy the game, and I will play the game. I just want the game. You know, I'm not buying it because of any specific player. I'm going to make my own player. And that's the challenge these players have is, you know, they could hold out and say, hey, I want 10 grand or 50 grand. The game's going to go on with or without you. But I will say this, EA's done a good job where they're, they're doing something called like the EA partner. So 600 is like the base salary. I've seen some of the top guys at Michigan and Ohio State, they post and promote the game with the hashtag EA partner. So guys are getting some good deals with it. Okay, so yeah, you can make more you can if make you're a more. Heisman team. Exactly, exactly. And there's value to being in the game. You know, for me, I, I, I was in 2013 and 2014. It's just really, I'll put some type of value in just having my name and face in that game. Did you see how close that Mercedes came? He's rolling. I know you're doing a good job. This is kind of we're in rush hour, the beginning of rush hour Chicago traffic. You're navigating it. It's it's golden hour. It's beautiful yes. here in Chicago. Okay, I want to talk Big Ten football because you're a Big Ten guy. I'm a Big Ten guy, and we have four new teams coming next year to our beautiful little or big conference: USC, UCLA, Washington, and Oregon. So with the new look Big Ten, how would you define Tier One? of the conference. Tier one, I, I think you have to be a consistent overtime competitor, you know, with a chance to get into the playoffs. So the teams I would consider the obvious ones are Ohio State, Michigan. I would say Penn State's in there as well. They, they've, I know they haven't quite reached their goals. They've won a lot of games though. Um, we're here at, at the yeah. gate. Hi, we're, um, we're coming in for stadium. Yeah, that's my car. They're, we're doing a production. Okay. You got him on the list today for the game? Um, I cook it. No, it's not for the game. We're, we work there. Okay. Can you call in there? I mean, yeah, you guys would put that, put the name on the list. They, they would add the name to the list. Can you call in to the cooking? Call into the office in there and be like, hey, or do I need to go in there? Yeah, you have, have to go in there and, and you just wait over here on the street, buddy. Okay. Drama at the gate. So I'm going to pull over here and I want you to continue that thought. I believe you were on Penn State with the tears. 
when it comes to the tiers realistically, like, hey, if you think tier one, like I'm, I'm thinking the premier teams, which really what I think of competing for conference titles at a minimum, competing for playoff uh, appearances at a minimum. And the obvious ones to me are Ohio State and Michigan. Um, then outside of that, I'm looking at those are the two teams that have won a national championship since the, the four team now we're expanding. Right outside of them, I'm, I'm going to throw in Penn State as a team that has won a bunch of games without actually getting that national title run. They've, won, they've been one of the more successful programs outside of those parameters. Then of the new teams that are coming in, Washington has two playoff appearances. Okay, they have a national title appearance. I'd even throw in Oregon there because they have that longevity. I grew up watching them. They were a popular brand um, and they've been extremely successful. USC, I, they've been too volatile, right? You'd have to go all the way back to the Reggie Bush, Matt Leinart days to say where they were su successful over consistent years. I think they'll get there under Lincoln Riley, but the for sure teams for me, Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, Oregon, Washington, Iowa is another team, but the offense has struggled so much. I just can't put them in as, as tier one. I'm going to keep it those five. So you've got Michigan, Ohio State, Penn State, yep. Oregon, and Washington. Yep. What's your name, buddy? Sam Brief and Jake Butt. Sam Brief? What's going on? I don't know. That guy's being uh, difficult. He's not letting us in. Yeah, he's being difficult. Wait. Can, he, can they come in? Yeah. He said yeah? yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll we'll wrap it up as we're going in. So let's get past this guy and we'll keep rolling. Thank you. All good. Okay, so you've got Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, and then the two new ones in the Pacific Northwest, yep. Washington and Oregon. Yeah. All right, Jake, as we come in to the parking lot, we wrap up your first appearance on The Chicago Chauffeur. My real last question for you is this. How many stars do I get out of five? I'm giving you a five star. You know, of course, I'm a little bit biased. There, You'd have to do a lot to break that rating, but look, you had everything prepared. You offered me gum. The car's clean and spacious. It's nicely heated. Uh, definitely five star. We'll join you again. Wow, you're going to get my rating up so What'd soon. Joshua give you? Uh, he... <laughs> He actually broke the scale. He gave me 10. Wow. So I guess I'm averaging 7.5. Wow. What a freaking suck up, Joshua. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. All yeah. Right. He's a teacher's pet. All right. We are in the parking lot. Safe and sound. We made it through rush hour traffic. This has been Jake Butt's first appearance on the Chicago Chauffeur. I have been Sam Brief. We will talk next time.